Hi, I'm Jim W6LG, your ham radio Elmer here on YouTube. Welcome to my radio room in Rockland, California. In this package are two computers, and I originally saw them on Zoom when I was talking to a friend and saw what it was doing in the background. And uh, when I did some more research on it, I decided to buy two. Um, and you may also want to get two when you see what all they do and the price. So we're going to go through as much of it as I can figure out right now. And then if you want to place an order, I'll show that information at the end. But do look at the end of the video for the price. You'll be really surprised. So I'm going to open up the package and then I'll show you what's inside. I'm not going to go through the package opening that kind of thing. So here we go. Two little computers. What could they do? In spite of what I said in the... Um in the opening i am going to show you the uh, the packaging because i ordered two of these and i've gotten one going and i wanted to show you um, how it is packaged it came in a bubble envelope from um, usps and then this is a, a a rather thick bag that is that has got some uh, insulation to it in fact it's it's not all that easy to open um, and then um, set out the stuff that came with it. It's an instruction card. Now, in this bag is yet another bubble envelope. And so here's a little computer. And um, it measures roughly round numbers uh, three and five eighths by three and five eighths by um, about three quarters of an inch thick and um, on the sides are the connections so let me get that oriented sorry the light isn't favorable there's a uh, DC input USB cat5 HDMI and then a no connection thing which I think might be some kind of programming thing another USB and then along in here is um, that micro SD slot so I don't think that's going to show um, the packaging of, of the computer is nice it's got a lot of vent holes in the bottom uh, no vents in the top but vents in the side it does heat up a bit but not bad uh, anyway I bought two for a reason one uh, more than one reason uh, one is so I could show you the setup, and I because I want to go from one that has not been programmed at all. Now he's put in, um, uh, he the owner of the company has put in a, a startup program, which I'll get going in just a minute. And to do that, I've got to route uh, HDMI uh, through my computer uh, onto a display screen and capture. So I'll do that right now. Going to set up this thing and I'll show you the the steps that I went through that I decided were good for me so here we go okay I'm plugging in the power to the um, computer the Innovato Quadra uh, um, and an important piece of information it runs on 5 volts not 12 volts I've powered it up um, there we go so it's going through the setup all right, my mouse is working, and hopefully my keyboard is too. Okay, I'm looking at a really small screen, and so um, what it's going to ask is, do I want to do setup? And let's see if I can find the right one. And the answer is going to be yes. I can't even read what I'm clicking on. Um, I guess that's okay. Anyway, here we go. Click anywhere to do setup. Yes. Now, the um, software in a way is a bit tricky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit caps lock and confirm I've got it on. Uh, I'm going to backspace the cursor through no cal and enter my call sign. Oop. 
and enter my call sign correctly this time. And then um, it says enter, uh, now this is confusing, enter DE lat. DE is me, so from me. Uh, instead of doing all that, uh, I'm going to enter adjust my grid square. So I'm going to hit the tab key. Now I've got to remember what it is. It's, um, oh heck, CN 98. I'll know once it comes up. CN 98 IT. Um, now the other way I could do it would be to have it do um, um, the internet provide my location, but I'm not sure because sometimes when I order stuff, it comes up with adjacent city. Uh, I could change that to a yes. Wi-Fi, you enter the information off your router if you don't know what it is or off your cell phone. I'm going to skip that for right now. If you do uh, enter it, you're going to need your, your password and the uh, network name. In my case, it's really long. Uh, password is simple. All right. So now there are pages. This is page one. In the upper right corner, I'm going to hit the greater than. I go to page two. I don't care to do clusters, uh, DX cluster. Um, I have other programs running like DX Heat that have that. Uh, same thing with these things. I'm not going to do the logbook. Um, this centers the map, and uh, I'm going to leave that where it is, but you may want to change that depending on where in the world you are. Uh, where do you want the center of the uh, uh, the map to appear, the longitude. And, uh, okay, I want month, day, year, yes. Yes, it starts on Sunday, yes, imperial. Uh, spot prefix, yes. Log usage, I opted out. Demo mode, no. Bearing true north, yes, I do want to do that. Short paths, so, I'm sorry, spot paths, Thin, full screen, yes. And that's going to automatically fill out the screen. So I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to leave the colors the way they are uh, just for now. And we're back to the beginning. So I'm going to go down to the bottom right corner and click done. And it's finding the time uh, for me and uh, the necessary stuff for the router. And over time, it will uh, fill out some of these things a little, with a little more detail. Note that in this box where my call sign is located, I can change the color with clicking. Uh, that was a left click. I'm dyslexic. Left click to the left of my call sign. A, let's see, a right click. Yeah. Uh, right click to the right of my call sign. Uh, change the background color. Uh, for now, I'm going to stick with... Oh, <laughs> I hadn't seen that one. Okay. Uh, green. Uh, now, here's one I want to do deal with. And so I'm going to do uh, a click on that one. That was a... a um, Again, I'm dyslexic. I left click. I don't want to do all these bands. I just want to do 20 meters so, uh, for spots. Now, uh, that will become more clear in just a minute. So, because uh, it's going to take the uh, PSK31 spots and uh, draw lines from my location to the uh, other station's location that was worked. Okay, so now here's the question that comes up with is show um, the age of the spots. I'm going to stick with 30 minutes because that seems to work the best. Uh, grid, not from me, but of DE by DE, of DE. Okay, of DE, and I'm going to do PSK, and then I'm going to say OK. And here's, oh, it's gone down a bit. Here's the current sunspot number. 
Um, goes uh, x-ray. I'm not sure how useful that's going to be to me. And on this one with the sun, there are different pictures you can bring up. Now, one of the ones I've decided to do is um, to have it rotate through the pictures. So I'm going to say OK to that. Over here is uh, me. I'll, I'll double check to make sure I got that right. It says sunrise in 14 minutes. Sunset was 14 hours ago. Uh, local time, 06, it's actually 0742, so i got to change that. See if I click that, does it do it? Yeah. So I'm going to change it to minus 7, and then OK. I do that right? Yeah, 0742. Uh, down here, if I do a uh, right-click on this, I can locate this dot to various areas, like uh, maybe the location of a friend, and get his weather and other information. I'm going to cancel that. If I click on the DX square, it brings up various satellites that I can place on the map. And I'm going to do the International Space Station, which is, what is it, ISS. Whoop, hit the wrong one. ISS. You can do multiple satellites, I think. And I'm going to say OK to that. And uh, Turns out the space station is down here in Mexico. I'm up here. Looks like I may have put the dot a bit high, so I'll double check that. Uh, over here is the information about this space station. What we're going to see is, since I'm going through the gray line right now, that um, the, from my location to other locations, they're going to start to show up. So I'll be able to see what paths are open. And it's been really interesting. Um, uh, last night it showed that there were uh, stations from Asiatic Russia, and sure enough, I was to make, able to make contact with a really good friend, UA9 Charlie, Delta Charlie, Igor uh, Sokolov, and we had a nice conversation on the air, and then we went to Skype and talked about antennas a little, little bit more. He's doing a going to be doing a phased array. Um, here's the path of the space station around the world. And coming up to here, and it looks like it's going to go over me. So that's kind of neat. Um, this information over here, when there's a spot posted, uh, if I click on that station, it's going to um, give me the call sign of the station that was worked and the call sign of the station that was doing the working. And so I found a bunch of guys in my area that I didn't know about that are on uh, digital modes. All right, I'm going to quickly check that I've got the right grid, grid square because it doesn't look quite right on the map. So, okay, I'm going to qrz.com. Um, if you want to get the lat long, it's on here. Uh, grid square is CM98IT. I put in the wrong one. So, um, I'm going to go back and change that. So if you want to grab this information, you can do the lat and long or the grid square. For me, the grid square, <laughs> if I do it right, is, uh, is much easier. Okay, um, using another keyboard and a mouse, can I change that this way? Um, uh, yeah, okay, grid. Uh, so what did I say it was? Uh, Charlie, Mike, I'll get it right. Charlie, whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm in the wrong line. I've got to go down to here. So tab, tab. So CM98IT. And it's got the right Latin long, so it looks like I've done it okay. I'm going to click OK. All right, there we go. 
So now I'm, the dot looks like it's over the right spot. And uh, now there we go. Um, so right now the gray line is open. And before I go over the transceiver, uh, looks like there are openings to um, uh, VKZL, uh, Reunion Island. Um, that could be long path. Uh, these some of these could also be long path. Uh, these guys probably are long path. Anyway, uh, you can see where the band is open. If you click on um, one of the lines, if I can pick out one, uh, FR. Let's see the FR guy. Um, was worked by. Um, uh, W6PAC, don't know the guy. FR4, FR4OP, worked him on FT8. Uh, gives the signal information, the distance, temperature, rain, all kinds of stuff uh, in this box over here. Okay, so if I click, I've got to change uh, my UTC time. So uh, for me, it is minus 7. And that's done. Okay. This little padlock. So if I click on it, it closes. If I click on it, it opens. With it closed, uh, and it's a left click, um, things on the screen cannot be moved around. So the, it's a good thing to lock up that stuff so you don't inadvertently uh, move some data. Okay, so that's a thumbnail sketch of how the device works. I love the screen. Let's go to the website. Okay, the problem is I'm currently um, working with two keyboards and two mouse. So uh, here's the ham clock. There's a bundle you can buy. Um, I, it may be worth doing that. Uh, and he's got us, none of this stuff is expensive. So uh, a stand is, and I've got one, I'll show you that in a second, is, uh, maybe I should just do that now. Here's the stand. Okay, quick segue. Uh, let me show you the stand. It is really cute. Uh, I don't know if I can do it with the other camera or not, but it, uh, um, it holds it fine and uh, provides for a little better ventilation, perhaps. So it's a cute stand. It comes in three pieces some assembly required uh, back to the screen okay a couple of things that i want you to think about are um and again he's not charging a bunch for example here's a uh, wall ward thing for about three dollars uh this one he's tested it produces much less noise than others uh, let me get the mouse over here much less noise than others at 295 um I would recommend, in fact, if I had to do it over again, I would get this little dongle thing. Um, you can do that uh, uh, for 15 bucks. I was not successful in getting my Wi-Fi gizmo to connect. Um, if you want to power it off your computer, and I've done that, this works fine. And again, it's not an outrageous price at $3, $2.95. Um, so if you want to buy just just the computer, it's thirty-five dollars, and shipping runs about ten, I think. Um, if you want to do the, uh, let's see what the bundle is. The bundle has uh, a keyboard. Uh, okay, I can't get. There we go. Um, keyboard with a battery, cable, and some other stuff. Uh, I'm going to go with the bundle again, see if I get the come up on the screen. So that includes, uh, the bundle includes the cable, uh, the USB cable, which is off the screen. Let me see if I can slide this up a bit. Okay, here we go. Uh, the bundle includes um, the little wall war thing, uh, a cable to hook it up, which you could also use to run off your computer if it can handle a current, uh, keyboard, um, and 
I think that's what's included in um, in the bundle. And I'm not sure how valuable a keyboard would be, except that as I have tried to do some things, um, the uh, <laughs> the keyboard in my lap and setting up was a little bit difficult to work with. So think about this. It's uh, it it's a great deal. I I can't believe it's it is as inexpensive as it is. Um, I'm not sure even the name of the company, Innovato, I'm guessing. Uh, I did email him with a question, got an immediate answer. Maybe I caught him just at the right time. I uh, haven't looked at the forum at all. Oh, okay, the common questions. All right, good. I'm going to check through some of that uh, today. I'm going to go back to me on screen. I'm not benefiting from any anything. I'm getting some flashing across my screen. Not sure why that is. Um, hopefully it's not recording that. I'm getting some flashes across the screen, which I don't understand why. Um, I've never seen it do that before. It could be the camera's hot. All right. I'm not benefiting in any way from the company. I paid for the devices that I got for the computer. Um, I just think it's a great deal, and the guy that I've communicated with, Michael, has been wonderful. Um, and so I, I don't mind saying I think this is a great product, and if you have any interest, just buy it. Uh, for 35 to $50, you can't go wrong. Um, and for some, uh, it can make a nice present. Um, it, it just I found it so handy. Uh, I've always wanted a, like a Geochron clock can't afford the darn thing um although uh, there's a story that goes with that and i'll share that another day with the company uh that i'm not all that happy with um uh, but these guys uh in a lot of really nice nicely packaged nicely presented well put together the thing works the software works the setup is really easy if you just want to do the minimum which is all i wanted to basically wanted the screen um the of the uh, uh of the world uh up as big as i could get it and so far it's worked on everything including an old tv set uh again some of the detail around the perimeter was off the edge i could probably fix that um through another process but that's an ancient tv oh again if you think you have an interest just buy it uh it 35 bucks if you want to go the inexpensive route you can't go wrong and shipping i think was 10 bucks if you have any questions post those below um and again i think it's just a wonderful product and i think every ham shack should have one i'm jim w6lg and my screen is blinking like there's something wrong so i can't edit that out get one of these you'll like it oh oh oh, oh. if you haven't subscribed please subscribe please 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 and if you like the video, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. In either case, uh, YouTube likes one or the other. All right, see you later. Bye.